Derivation of Self-Inductance L by Madam Rosmaya. In the previous lesson, we have discussed the phenomenon of self-induction. Uh, in this simple circuit, consists of battery, solenoid, and switch. Where, uh, at the moment the switch is on, uh, the current in the coil is increasing. The self-induced EMF produced in the coil will oppose the rise of current. That means the direction of the induced EMF is opposite to the applied voltage. And at the moment the switch is off, uh, the current in the coil is decreasing. The EMF induced in the coil is in such a direction as to oppose the fall of current. This means that the direction of the self-induced EMF is same as that of the applied voltage. And from Faraday's law and Lenz's law, the EMF induced is equal to the negative d psi by dt. Psi is the magnetic flux. Uh, it's equal to the NBA. Combine these two equations become EMF induced equals to negative d NBA per dt. And the B for solenoid is equal to mu node Ni. So we substitute B equals to mu node and I into this equation. So the equation becomes EMF induced equals to negative D and mu node and I A per DT. We factor out all the constants times DI by DT. And all these cons constants replaced by letter L. So, physical, this physical quantity is known as self-inductance. So, self-inductance is a constant uh, for, a, for this solenoid. Self-inductance for this solenoid is equals to L. Okay, from this equation, uh, the EMF is a back EMF equals to negative L di by dt and L is a self-inductance and the unit for self-inductance is Henry. So we can uh, rewrite this equation becomes L equals to back EMF per di by dt. And di by dt is rate of change of current in the conductor. Example just now is a solenoid. So we can say that Self-inductance is the ratio of back EMF across a coil or solenoid to the rate of change of current through the coil or solenoid. The inductance of a coil is 1 Henry if the back EMF induced in it is 1 volt when the current through it is changing at a rate of 1 ampere per second. Okay. Next, we are going to use the equation uh, in the example given. The current in a solenoid drops from 2.0 ampere to zero in, to zero in 25 milliseconds. And EMF of 5.0 volts is induced in the solenoid. What is the self-inductance of the solenoid? So from the equation, uh, current is 2.0 ampere. And 25 millisecond. And another info is given here is a back EMF 5.0 volt. And we are going to find self-inductance L. So the solution using the equation back EMF equals to negative L di by dt. So we substitute 5.0 volt and it's negative because it opposes the changes and uh, and the, the current drops eh, from ampere to zero equals to negative L and substitute the current 2.0 ampere into the equation and time taken 25 millisecond convert to second so we get self inductance 5 per 2.0 divided by 0 0.025 the answer is 0 0.0625 Henry 
Next, we are going to do further derivation of the equation for self-inductance, L. From Faraday's law, EMF induced is equal to negative dc by dt and the back EMF equals to negative L di by dt. So, equate these two laws, two equations, L di by dt equals to dc by dt. Because the EMF induced is equals to the back EMF. Cancel out dt both side. We have Li equals to psi magnetic flux. Okay, this is the first equation we get. Next, substitute magnetic flux equals to NBA into this equation. Next, for the solenoid B is mu naught and I. We can cancel out I both side of the equation, leaving L equals to N mu naught and uh, N A. So this is the second equation for self inductance. L equals to mu naught and N A. So the this N, okay, this N is a Number of uh, turns for a solenoid divided by length of the solenoid. Okay, the small letter N is number of turns in the solenoid divided by length of the solenoid. So we substitute into the equation here. So we get another formula for self-inductance. L equals to mu naught N squared A per L. Okay, next we can also substitute uh, number of number of uh, turns in the solenoid equals to nl cross multiply so the small letter n times the l so we get another equation for self inductance l equals to mu naught n squared al And the area is a cross-sectional area of the wire, of the solenoid. So, we can use pi r squared or pi d squared per 4. And also, aware of the letter L, we also have here two letters L or physical quantity L used here. This capital letter L is self-inductance, whereas the small letter L here is the length of the solenoid. Okay, next, uh, I'm going to show examples on how to use these equations. Okay, first example. A flat coil of wire has 500 turns. The magnetic flux linkage for each turn is 0.055 Weber when the current in the coil is 3.5 Ampere. Calculate the self-inductance of the coil. Okay, what is what what's the info given in the uh, question? In the question, we have 500 turns. This is uh, capital letter N stand for number of turns. And then we have a magnetic flux, 0.055 Weber. This is for, uh, it's state, stated here, uh, each turn. Eh? So for N1. Eh? And then uh, the current, 3.5 Ampere. And we are going to find self-inductance. So using the formula, psi equals to uh, NBA. So the N is 500 turns and then the BA for each turn is 0 0.055 Weber. So it's time 500. So from the formula psi equals to Li. Okay, we use the first equation here. And L equals to psi per I and substitute uh, 
the current 3.5 ampere and the magnetic flux 500 times 0 0.055 into the equation. So the answer is 7.86 Henry. Okay, next example, second example, an, an ideal solenoid consists of 1,000 tons of wire per centimeter wound around an air-filled cylindrical structure. The solenoid is 2.0 cm long with a cross-sectional area of 1.8 cm squared. A current of 2.0 ampere passes through the wire. Calculate the magnetic flux in the solenoid and B, the self-inductance of the solenoid. Okay, what are the, uh, the information given in the question? 100 turns, this one is a small letter N because it's 100 turns of wire per centimeter. So, number of turns per length. So, it is a small letter N. And then, uh, the solenoid is 2.0 centimeter long eh, the length of the solenoid and cross-sectional area of the solenoid and we are going uh, current current 2.0 ampere so we are going to find magnetic flux in the solenoid so we use formula of magnetic flux psi equals to mba and the b is mu naught and i so substitute into the equation and N is uh, 2,000 because this is 100 turns per cm. Eh? So, we have 2 cm. So, that means 2,000 number of turns. And then, mu naught is 4 pi times 10 to the power of negative 7. And N is 100, uh, sorry, 1,000 turns of wire per cm. And per cm convert to uh, meter meter convert to meter become 1 times 10 to the power of negative 2 meter and then uh, the uh, current 2.0 ampere and lastly the cross sectional area 1.8 cm squared convert to meter squared becomes 1.8 times 10 to the power of negative 4 meter squared so, the answer is 0 0.090 Weber. Okay, next is B. We are going to find self-inductance of the solenoid. Using psi equals to Li, we substitute uh, the... Uh, we arrange the equation become L in equals to psi per I. So, psi in the previous uh, pre previous question A is 0 0.090 Weber. So, we substitute into the equation per current 2.0 ampere. So, we get the answer 0 0.045 Henry. Another method, we can use uh, Luna. L equals to mu naught N and A. This equation. So, we substitute mu naught 4 pi times 10 to the power of negative 7. Uh, 100 turns per cm convert to meter per 1 meter. Number of turns 1000 times 2 because uh, 2 cm, 1000 turns per 1 cm. So, for 2 cm becomes 2000 turns. And lastly, the area convert to meter squared. So, the answer is 0 0.045 Henry. So, same answer. Okay, the end.